Hey guys, I think I should start this review by saying Wee! The Tima! Because uh, today we are driving an electric car Actually two electric cars and we are going to take uh, a road trip uh, I'll tell you to where as we progress But uh, from here we are around Limuru We want to take this car all the way to Naivasha plus the other one Visit the charging station in Naivasha Then take a detour and uh, take care that other side of Ruiru See how many kilometers we are going to cover in this Skyworth Yes, we are driving a Skyworth TV But today we are driving a Skyworth SUV that is 100% electric. Maybe I should give you a walk around. You know, one of my views I tell you under the hood of the blah 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 is this engine. But unfortunately, under the hood of the Skyward is plastic covers. Lakini bado kuna chumea doshi. So at least we can relate. So just allow me to pull this down. Mm -hmm. So, so this Skyward, there is something I need you to really look at. It's sitting on road cruiser mud terrain tires, and uh, the wheels are pretty big because these these are 19-inch wheels, and these are the wheels you would get maybe on most crossover SUVs, especially luxury ones. Uh, the rims are quite trendy, and they come in stock. Uh, and one thing we are also going to test on this trip is uh, road noise. You know, electric cars are very silent. We want to, to see if we can hear the road noise to Kiwanda Niagari. And also we might try go a little bit off-road. Although this car was, doesn't have four-wheel drive, uh, it has one advantage. It's front-wheel drive and it has a lot of torque and a lot of traction. We also want to see how far it will go with the all-terrain tires because all-terrain tires equals more traction. We're also going to be taking that car over there. See that small, tiny, whiny vehicle? Yeah, that's the Netta, and it's going to join us on this epic trip. We got these cars from Highview International, and Highview International are um, dealers of uh, Skyworth and Netta EV, so you can get these cars from them. Sawa, sawa. So we are going to embark on this trip. Uh, this one has a range of... Uh, 600 kilometers there about but um, if you're driving it on eco if you're driving it on sport it will give you give or take 500 kilometers which is decent and we got this skyward with uh, around 86 82 percent on the battery so you want to see so you come a drew a power bank you want to see how far the 82 percent will will take us through but it should be a decent distance uh, that smaller car over there is called the Netta. Now the Netta is a subcompact crossover SUV and it's smaller than this. Uh, it has a range of around uh, 300 kilometers. So it's basically the smaller sibling to the Skyward. One of the vehicles that you will get uh, if you visit Highview International to, you know, shop around for an EV. Let's kick start this road trip and on this road trip I'm going to give you two things. One, what is the battery capacity of these vehicles? Which batteries do they run on? Which traction motors do they run on? And what do we have in the interior? Also, we are going to do an acceleration test to see how fast these cars can go because you know when you're talking about electric we are talking about instant stock. We don't have lag at all. When you're driving an electric car, there, there are no need, there's no need uh, of uh, turbos, there's no need of uh, superchargers. You know, it's just purely instantaneous talk. So join us as we take this epic road trip. And I'm one man that up in Kenya, we see how, how far these two vehicles are going to take us. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 To the cluster, to the infotainment system Although it's still familiar, it's not very far off from a from a normal ICE vehicle, but there's something I want to do as we start off. I want to, yeah, so, to a Gurumisha Gari. 
you know it's it's quite odd not hearing that chogiogiogi vroom it feels odd but in a good way so what i want to do i want to program my skywalk to suit my you know my driving habits how i want to drive it kwa barabara from here our first stop will be the viewpoint i'll tell you about the traction motors at uh, viewpoint and then oh good afternoon dear user so yeah i'm going to tell you about the traction motors the batteries and the capacity to kifika viewpoint but for now i just want to configure my skyward so just come to application center vehicle control so that's headlight i, I don't need the headlights per now so let me switch it to mode so we have a camping mode for those of you who are going camping and now we have the brake pedal it's in comfort but since i want to push this car a little bit let me put it to sport right so in sport mode this vehicle stops faster right so the the, the braking system is a bit more aggressive then uh, steering assistance mode so the standard comfort sport but because i want to push it again we're going to put it into sport i know a guy called chris might not be very happy because of you know range but we want to put it all in sport so super endurance battery keep warm i don't think we need that so we are set up twende sasa twende kazi you know i really miss that at you na unangoja hearing an engine noise but this one is 100% silent so let's drive it to patana viewpoint so uh, ian yes you understand this vehicle better yes and uh, I want, since it's a fast vehicle, mm -hmm. look at how easy you can overtake. But now we are lacking the, the vroom. Pa, 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 pa. Yeah. How, how do you put up pop, pops and there's like a pops and banks for electric car? <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, that's, sometimes you have to sacrifice something. But for the, for the speed this car has and the torque, it's actually amazing. Igari, I, I, I can, Ian, I want to challenge. Uh, you guys, eh? Yeah. So we take this guy was to Masinga Titi. Let's try and go to Shagari. Think you know? Ah, what you doing? Why you bike? Eh? Eh? What about after Nini? Nini? We beat. We just ski a kid. Exactly. We just we just try and go go do a drag race with this. Eh? Yeah. What's what's the battery capacity on 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 this? It's an 86 kilowatt hour battery. 86 kilowatt. Yeah. Ah, uh, what what is the range? It's giving you a CLTC range of 620 kilometers. 620 kilometers. Yes. So now that we took this car, I go 80 percent. So you can't remember power bank. At the time, I go here. So, so what if I drive it in sport? If I want to play around with this car, tinker around with this car. Yeah. To touch up, what do you think? The consumption will be a little bit higher. Uh -huh. So at the figure of 620. Uh -huh. Like in the other Miatano, but the traffic and a guru is very not rudy. Miatano is very decent. Yeah. Miatano is decent. Huh? So you said 86 kilowatts. Yes, 86 kilowatt uh, battery. What about the traction motors? Uh, uh, the traction motor. Uh -huh. It is our. The traction is the traction battery, but the motor is 150 kilowatt. 150 kilowatt. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, now translate that into jargon. We ICE people uh -huh. can understand. Same, uh, this car has around 200 horsepower. Uh -huh. uh, it, if you compare with around 2500 cc car. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, okay, the traction battery 86 kilowatt. Yes. The motor itself 150. 150. Yes. Uh, it doesn't come in four wheel, huh? Yes, it's a front wheel drive car. Front wheel drive. Yeah. Maybe in the near future, for guys like us who prefer going to the wild, mm -hmm. would will there be? Is there any chance of uh, any other four wheel drive uh, SUVs or pickups from uh, high high view or uh, Moja? Yes, yes, uh, yes. We have a variety of cars for every every niche of the market. Talking about Kwa Uber, we have Raiders. Raider will be a double cabin. And you talk about you have a family and you're doing farming it will be very convenient for you uh -huh. so we are bringing even matatus uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's a, it's a, electric is the next big thing it's the next big thing yeah uh, one thing i've noted about this and i'm going to be very honest about it yeah you know whenever if, if you're an ICE enthusiast uh -huh. when you get into an ev uh -huh. you expect a lot of 
you know disappointments mm -hmm. but i can say i have i do not have disappointments i have more of uh, my disappointments have been disappointed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. because it's it's very fast mm -hmm. it's faster than most performance cars we have here yeah. Cindy, oh? very true the other thing, and this is a conversation I would like us to have on on uh, on record. Eh? Apparently, when it comes to to maintenance of these vehicles, yes. I was I was looking, I was watching a reel by you guys when you were servicing the smaller one, mm -hmm. the, the Neta, mm -hmm. and uh, somebody said that it's easier mm -hmm. to actually maintain this compared to uh, a normal internal combustion engine vehicle. That is very true mm -hmm. because firstly, these cars fewer moving parts compared mm -hmm. to an ICA. Yes. So with that, here you know, we know it has fewer parts. Without say, it has lesser servicing. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, we're only running on the MCU motor control unit yes. and the battery management system. Mm -hmm. Those two systems run this car. Yes. For those two systems, what we'll be needing actually is a lot of diagnosis. And something one electrical equipment that is fault is faulty. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, akuna service mingi. For the first service after ten thousand kilometers, we will at least reduce our oil. That is after ten thousand kilometers, the only thing we are doing is reduce our oil, which is three hundred and fifty ml mm -hmm. that we are changing. Only, only, and it's very cheap. Mm -hmm. Actually, we don't for our first service. It's we don't charge. Like in other words, we charge. I don't think we get to do more than fifteen hundred shillings. Okay, because. Nothing, it's nothing actually, it's just changing oil. I will remember Lisa. Now, uh, we mentioned um, a lot of diagnostics. Mm -hmm. So, if I have my Kawaida diagnostics tool, mm -hmm. Ilia OBD2, mm -hmm. can it be used to scan this EV? No, 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 because mm -hmm. all these cards come with a special, same OBD, mm -hmm. like in the diagnostic tool, like in the mother company. Yes. So, for this guy, what? In a good and OBD, okay. Uh, the tool for diagnostic comes with it. For NETA has a different, even for NETA diagnostic tool for NETA cannot be used on this guy. What? Okay. Yeah, so it's coming from the mother company, the diagnostic tool, but we have them in our tool. Alright, alright. Uh, what about, you know, enthusiasts want a DIY kind of car? Mm -hmm. Now, with this EV, is there, are there any provisions for do it yourself? Mm -hmm. Like, I want to service my car at home. Yo ni yawale watu tu kwa bit extreme. Unajua wasi wasi kuizi. Hata ukiambi ya mtu wa kupandishi ya brake pad haezi chua. Napo nipo tupefika. Hata enthusiasts most of them. Hata spana ajui kushika. Kama wengi enthusiasts and you want this car. You see servicing this car is simpler. Yes. Internal combustion engine. So hata kama wengi enthusiasts you love to service this car for yourself. Actually. You just learn the process. And it's something so simple. Kito kuona leo. So ah, for every yes. enthusiast, this is your thing. With three months with this car, you'll be doing ninety percent of the servicing yourself. Actually, na na ni Like I get this car and I want to get more performance from it. Yes. Is there any provision for maybe aftermarket motors that have more power? Mm -hmm. uh, so there is a extended range type of battery. Uh -huh. So after you use this car for a while, yes, you can change the type of battery. You buy an extended range that can give even up to 1,000 kilometers. Uh -huh. Whoa, 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 you say what? 1,000 kilometers. There are, there are versions of this type of cars that can go up to 1,000 kilometers. That is the extended range battery versions. Then... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Because still, hapa kuna... Ni kama ni mi ni mesikia vipaya. Ah, ah, mesikia vipaya. You said you can get an extended range battery. Yes. That it end up for 1,000 kilometers. Yes. 1,000 freaking kilometers. 1,000 kilometers. Yeah, you know, it's in Nairobi. Yeah. Mombasa, Nairobi, and come back. Comfortably. I will see it. I will see it because Mama would update at the stations on, uh -huh. on your way. And then for Kama Motor, mm -hmm. uh, we also provide, say, for example, the Neta, we have 90% of the spare parts for after sale service yet. Mm -hmm. So you should not worry about any equipment that you require for this car. That if it's not in Kenya, we are bringing it. And Come at the letter, we have already brought it. Now, talking about parts, break, let's talk about routine maintenance parts. Mm -hmm. Brake parts, I understand brake parts on EVs are bound to last way longer yes. because of uh, regenerative braking. Yes. Senior, mm -hmm. uh, 
do you guys or um, brake pads ni easy kuweka kama za za Ka- gari nyingine kama kawaida yeah. ukipatia mechanic wako wa kawaida atakubadilisha brake pads za gari kwa kutab and what is the difference in uh, suspension ya gari mm, i believe it's like for a normal suv car mm-hmm. this suspension for this car and for a normal suv will be quite similar actually First stop over ni hapa viewpoint. Viewpoint ya past Limuru. And uh, but then we have for the guys who have not seen this car. This is the Neta and the Neta is a subcompact crossover SUV and uh, my old friend over it actually have, I I love this car. Tanguile really yangu ya kwanza I for some strange reason I have some attachment with the Skyward. Ama ni ju TV yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa ga Skyward. Could be anyway, but uh, some data I want Ian kuja uniambie vitu mbili tatu about this car. Sasa eh hapa mm-hmm. kwanza kwanza niambie what are the stats on the Neta? So this car will give you a CLTC range of 400 km uh-huh. from 0 to 100 you are there in 9.6 seconds. Uh-huh. Eh motor power 70 kW. Uh-huh. Minimal servicing ya gari. Uh-huh. So you have some few stats up. Swali uh-huh. CLTC na maanisha nini? Hiyo ni vintage inatumika kwa China. China. Yeah. Oh so hiyo ni range ya China. Yeah. Would that go lower ikifika hapa kwetu Kenya? Tunasema WLTP kuna average range in Asia you are WLTP mm-hmm. is the world range alafu kuna NEDEX range mm-hmm. used in Europe. Okay. So there are different ranges to, uh, how to measure range for this car. Ah uh, unajua say kwa kwa bit excited. Uh-huh. Sawa so, hawaja hawaja ielewa hawaja isikia vizuri. Uh-huh. So we'll do that at Naivasha. Uh-huh. But I have a small concern. Ah uh-huh. yeah. Tuko 75%. Uh-huh. Ehe. Unaona kama nasikia kuna blackout babaika uko na power bank hapa ndani tu so na take it 75 actually itatufikisha na ifasha vizuri na hata kama tutacharge tutarudi tutarudi Nairobi safely alafu ukiona ukipata wasiwasi tukiwa na ifasha kuna kitu nimekuwekea hapo nyuma ka carry on charger sasa tutaweka gari tutapack tukikunywa chai tuna plug into a normal socket alafu tuna plug in hapa kwa gari yetu and itakuwa ina charge si tukikunywa chai hapo naivasha kidogo kidogo gari yetu ina charge at the same time na tukifika naivasha mm. unaweza to show the different types of chargers yenye tabu pale kuna charging station ukiingia naivasha yeah, kuna charging so station. you can plug one there you i believe is faster yes it's a faster one mm. yes but but i want to go by by your word that this one can go the 75% unaweza piga hiyo la peote tunapiga na irudi we can comfortably comfortably but but, but like, just ukiona okay, okay, wasiwasi uh-huh at any place hata hapa hivi tunauliza nani kwenye watu wana charge simu tuingize plug hapo tu charge ama tutafute mse wa weldi na tuko sawa bana na kwanza anashikanisha waya juu juu tu anyway let's get to Naivasha and get to talk more about the chargers that you get for the Skyworth and for the Neta Yo uh, so finally we are at the Naivasha charging point uh, na sasa hivi nimevaa kofia na kadere wa FRR kiangalia it it has road cruiser on it and that is because our two electric vehicles are riding on road cruiser are 1100 tires they are mud terrain and uh, this is because we thought we might try it out off road but unfortunately this one is is front wheel drive we'll talk about whether there are four wheel drive uh, skywards available now our neta has to be charged now this one has sufficient range to take us through the whole trip but uh, the neta since it has a lower range cuz it's smaller it needs to be charged right here na tukona actually ian is an ev guru na tukona hapa ian hello guys 
So here I'm going to do something here. I'm going to talk to you about the different types of chargers mm -hmm. and how to charge an electric vehicle. How do you connect it? Okay. So to answer now, now before, to, to, before we talk about it, eh, let's start by discussing on uh, to answer, cooling. When, you are, when you're driving these ca normal cars for a long distance, you mm -hmm. have temperature sana kama in a panda, overheating. Eh? Uh, so does do these two EVs still run on coolant? Yes. And what does it cool? Okay, these two EVs have a coolant. There are two different separate coolant. One in in electric kwa motor, and the other one goes to the traction battery. The one that is going to the traction battery in end up to a thermal management system, which is within the battery management system. So you in a cool battery. As the car goes battery kipa ikipata joto kidogo na in a cooler simultaneously. So this battery can last for a longer life. Same as the motor. Motor is chemka but kuna coolant, a separate coolant that is directed to the motor. So they are same same type of coolant, like in separate you into two. One headed to the battery, another one to the motor. Okay, so just like an ICE, you can also cool this particular vehicle. Yes. Now, let's talk about another thing. What is the routine maintenance for the traction battery? Okay, for this traction battery, actually, at Fanny Maintenance, for uh, the thing that is done maintenance up in Ikoqua Motor, in it will reduce a gear. It helps uh, give the car its stock. So, you know, after 10,000 kilometers, to the badlisha, they reduce our oil, which is Fairly 350 ml. It took it dog or sana. See, for liter, five liter out of So, 350 ml after 10,000, diagnosis, and you're good to go. And it's recurrent after every 10,000 kilometers. The elephant in the room. How long will a attraction battery, for instance, on the Skyworth last? So for this traction battery, 250,000 kilometers in terms of kilometers, or 15 to 20 years. Oh, interesting. What about the netter? Same, same. The same range. As long as you call, you maintain the Igari, the thermal management system works properly. The cooling is very efficient. You are using both the two types of chargers, the DC and AC, Ukenda interchangeably. Then you are sure after 250,000 kilometers, you can feel degradation of this battery. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, this is a charging point. Yes. So I would like us to talk about charging uh, the types of chargers that come with this vehicle. Maybe we can even demonstrate. Can you Yeah, it can charge it. Yes, it can charge it. It can charge it. So, the uh, uh, power tailgate, eh? So I take on a sense up a genie, another sense. So for this charger, in it will carry on charger. In backup charger, I go. Kiendo ushago, kama sa ito nanda nakuru to kisiko ko ushago ko etu ko lanet. Ndengi zatu iga i charger apo ko apo ko socket apo ni ko inja nyumba. Nikiengi za ni connect ko gari, and I'll be ready to go. As simple as that. Oh nice. Yeah. Interesting. And then apart from this charger, kuna charger ingine nda ko ni installe ko nyumba. Kinoi gari nda ko den ko installe charger ingine a seven kilo charger. Also, uh, convenient for using at house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now let's talk about uh, now that charger mm -hmm. that you will get at uh, a charging point. Okay. So which, what do you call this? Any charger gun? This is the DC type of charger. Mm -hmm. It's the type first type of charger that we have. Na shuku na night energy. So for this type of charger. Depends on the uh, output of it. Come on, 11 kilowatt, do it charge na your rate. Come on, 22 kilowatt, charges at the same rate. For DC, na charge directly to the car. Okay. Yeah. So it's a, it's more of a direct current. Right? Direct current. So uh, can we maybe try charge the netter? Yes, yes, we can. See to connect to uh, the process step by step uh, process of uh, connecting this connecting charger. the charger. And the, the, so, pro the procedure is the same even uh, on the skyward. Yes, the same same. Oh. Okay, you connect up or you connect up. So, so for this type of charger, uh -huh. these are called a CCS two type of charger. So it's different from the one that is used in Nissan Leaf. This is a modern type of charger that we are using for this car. Oh, okay, so so Nissan Leaf ni kitambo kidogo. Sio ko baya lakini ni kweli tu. Alex Mwanzo. Ukimtaja na rafiki yangu hapa hata nikujia sana. Aya, unajua nasikianga Alex Mwanzo is the only person alipigwa picha ya DL akiwa amesimama full photo.
<laughs> so you just come uh-huh. and plug in plug it in normally yes okay plug in here bandani for this is not a showroom you need like a card to scan yes but for this one i think right now it's free oh, so yeah. okay connect in another could be papa green uh-huh. if it's beeping green you know it's charging yes. so you're good where on the gari yako it charge ikimaliza kucharge size it has locked here hakuna mtu anaweza kuja atoe charge yangu ati nimeacha gari na toa nakuta mtu alinitolea charge ameka kwa gari yake kama simu eh unajua unaweza kwenda event na changa the plug unapata bado iko 10% unashangaa rada like in for this one it's locked this is for safety purposes mm-hmm. and the only way to unlock it lazima uende kwa ile infotainment screen yetu mm-hmm. you unlock it from there so that it can release from here okay utatuonyesha ku unlock eh? no worries ndio tunge hapo kwa infotainment now as as we do this we can talk about the netter mm-hmm. being an ev yeah. what features are we looking at uh, right now ikiwa imechaji unajua skyworth yeah. skyworth nimeona iko na all features iko na lane departure mm-hmm. iko na proximity warning mm-hmm. it has all cruise the features control, yeah. that cruise control that I'm modern SUV we so what do we have on the meta first we'll go with the outlook e gari imetengenezwa like Tesla model 3 version uh-huh. from the air conditioner yako uh, the radio antenna is also similar to the model 3 the front view shape similar to the model 3 i love the body is a dolphin streamlined shape oh, yeah. in could reduce wind resistance so that it can give you a you see wind resistance is some something that affects range for range. this car yeah. so if low wind resistance a higher range for you na naona bado iko na road cruiser road cruiser hapa for all terrain yeah. so you but you enjoy comfort and you still have class here nisa niko 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 na so wali uliza if i put highway tires mm-hmm. on my netter mm-hmm. uh, we, we did a, an episode on tires mm-hmm. especially road cruiser tires mm-hmm. na mr dixon uh, brought in another type of tire there was the highway pattern mm-hmm. and there was the ultra high performance mm-hmm. so if we if we look at the highway pattern on the netter because i believe there is a size mm-hmm. for the netter mm-hmm. uh, what if now assuming to corona netter mbili yeah. this one yeah. is running on road cruiser mar terrain mm-hmm. and the other one is running on road cruiser hp mm-hmm. so which one will have more range which have and why high terrain and hp all, all terrain uh, highway pattern but uh, for road cruiser what i could see could danganya i leave it to our experts to tell you uh-huh. uh, because that one i'm not sure the different models of road cruiser tires so we'll give it our experts for road cruisers so tatuambia ipo if it affects you okay. what to do it sasa yeah. uh, normally wacha tuingie kwa physics yeah all terrain tires yeah. zina kuanga they hata kwa gari uh-huh. gari ya kawaida an internal combustion engine uh-huh. it reduces range i mean it, higher fuel consumption yeah. so will it have the same effect on definitely if it's on kama iko kwa ic normally yes. even for an ev it will be the same kama ina cooler it needs more power to run yes. even for an ev it will be work the same way okay how special is anetta tuonyeshe hapa ndani sasa so i'm inside the netta and uh, hey, ian yes Manzi the f- okay. E e ni mtu anataka point A to point B movement mm-hmm. but if you want thrill uh, skywalk comes up anyway hizo hizo ni stories zetu za chini ya maji now you I'm, I'm inside the netter and uh, I can see it's 66% charged eh? yes. e e 66 iko naweza kupatia range yangapi utaona hapa leo kwa nini itakwambia oh to 64 kilometers to 64 So kutoka hapa tuko tunaweza fika Kisumu. Dog Kisumu ni yes, tuko karibu, si ndio? Sasa hivi tumecover almost 100 kutoka hapa hadi Nakuru, nyingine 100. Kutoka hapa hadi Nakuru ni is around 100. Ndio? Eh, eh haijafika 100. Hata chini ya hiyo. Iko chini ya hiyo. So tutafika Kisumu na hiyo. Tutafika Kisumu. Kabisa. So uh, now teach me how to disconnect the charger as play electric cars come mm-hmm. as simple as press of a button mm-hmm. ukifinya tu pale unlock unatoa charge yako pale nje unlock so oh unlock yes so ni finya finya tu hiyo hivyo ah nice and you are done hata charge imeacha gari imeacha ku charge mm-hmm. charge yako unatoa sasa eh. and you are ready to go sasa we can so, go eh, na sasa tuangalie i want mm-hmm. us to, to 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 explore this system okay so do i have to put the vehicle on uh, I don't uh, they, we can check it as it, as 
as it is right now. Yes. The vehicle is on actually. So what what these music? Yes. So these uh, radio, vehicle settings. Vehicle settings. Mm-hmm. So charging schedule. Yeah, yes. External power supply. Uh, external power supply means eh mm-hmm. uh, kama tuko out sasa where we are na tulikuwa tunataka ku pack hapo tuweke settings zetu mm-hmm. we can place a, a plug there then yes. from our battery it to lay power inje. So kama tulikuwa na kakuka hapa tumebeba mm-hmm. kana tumia stima tunaweza tumia stima hii battery bado kupika na kupika na igari. Wait a, wait a minute. Yeah. Sorry for cutting you short. You mean mm. uh, with an EV unaweza enda camping na utumie mm. battery ya gari kupika kabisa. Ama kufanya vitu kama kuchemsha maji, kufanya if you are, you are out for camping uko na gari, you have a power source. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. So now uh, we have uh, on the Neta we have 264 kilometers of range uh, on the Skyworth uh, you reckon we can do it without charging it again Unajua mimi nilicheza juu gari nilipewa 80% ni kama upewe upewe simu ikiwa 80 badala ikiwa so but eh? tuko sure utapata shida kwenye unaenda upati shida Sawa <laughs> so, so we continue with the trip yes, Let's go grab something to eat then to end Sawa okay po. Uh well it's dark now and we have a chance to play around with the Skyworth infotainment system. Now look at the digital cluster at least now you can be able to see it at night. Just look at how beautiful the cluster is. Um too bad we can't drive this car because it's electric. Now um on the let me just take you uh, through the infotainment system. So if I come and uh, just press application center vehicle controls i can play around with the headlights uh, i can adjust them by touching the buttons so if you if you touch them you can see the headlights here uh, going up or down so that is the the lowest point you can go the highest higher than that and zero zero is straight so when i'm driving at night i prefer them at number two well this is nice so we can go to the mode so we have camping mode so if you switch it to camping mode 3d nature better better you even have you know the ambient sound so it's basically a vehicle you can play around with uh, the other thing steering assist mode no hii nilikuwa nimeonyesha deep battery discharge so let's let's think assistance uh, so you have an overspeed limit you can put it on but mimi siweki kitu then you also have a fatigue reminder uh huh prohibit watching while driving so these are very very interesting features and then you have hill descent control by the way now this is one thing that uh, is actually intriguing on an electric car the hill descent control and this will come in handy when you're driving this car off road now you have the front radar and this is uh, this gives you the proximity how close do you want to get to the car that is in front of you it uh, works hand in hand with the uh, cruise control and all that then you have the elect- electronic stability control you can turn this off when you want to have fun with this car did they tell you that you can connect this car to wi-fi yes you can it has a wi-fi uh, provision for you to operate the infotainment system let's look at convenience <coughs> you have charging settings uh so basically that is it dash the dashboard so instrument screen you can darken it kidogo you can darken the 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 cluster uh instrument beep you have mid you have high so let's just keep it at low then you can change the theme we are in theme one so theme two look at how theme two looks like so i i don't like theme two so let's keep it at theme theme uh, theme one and then you have here electricity what uh, kian djs would say uh, versus mileage so when i put it to mileage the cluster gives you the range so right now as we speak we have a range of 330 kilometers uh plus or minus a few because of regenerative braking and also if you want to have some fun with this car the other thing uh, let's just put it to electricity Ni tupatie kama simu 70% 60% but uh, most people would prefer range. So 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 let's drive this car at night. Uh, then uh, by the way, I have somebody by the name Ian Hapa. Ian hajaenda mahali. So Ian, 
What is the price tag of this vehicle, the Skywalker? For a zero mileage car, you are getting it at 7.5 million Kenya shillings. 7.5 million Kenya shillings. Yes. Well, 7.5, um, Drew, come closer. 7.5 is the amount that you would be getting for a Prado TZG that has been used for seven years. Too bad, too bad. Hii gari unapata gari safi, gari jachakuliwa, wendo utakuja kuchakua hii gari. <laughs> From out of the manufacturer's hand, yes. tukupati ufanye kitu yote. Hii gari hakuna mtu wameingie ingia hapa, hame kanyaga kanyaga, hame leta uchaku yake ya kukundani. Haina, yeah, ndo utakuja uchakua hii gari. Haina swara. Haina maswara. <laughs> Alafu, you see for this battery, yes. we need a new battery. Yes. We, we don't need a X, X something that imetumika miaka saba in yume degregate. Yes. A new battery is the best for electric cars. And that is what we are offering here. But come, come to think of it, 7.5 for zero mileage is actually a very good price. Mm-hmm. Sindio? Very good. Compared to how much you guys are buying Prados for Fortuners for, mm-hmm. when you can get yourself a decent uh, SUV if you're a green freak or you're a was enthusiast or electric cars or not vegetarians. <laughs> but anyway, uh, my verdict on this would be, I, I, I love this car. It's the only way you're going to appreciate these EVs is if you drive them. Amen. That is the only thing. You have an experience, you feel the talk, you feel the instant talk, you feel the brakes, you feel the, the brakes are sensitive, they are up to par. With yes. the, you see, if you have an instant talk, mm-hmm. what else do you need to look at? The other perspective is, if the Kamei Gari Natoka from 0 to 100 in 7.2 seconds, mm-hmm. then we need to control also the braking. Yes. And that is what we have here in the infotainment system. Kuna sports brake when it's really sensitive in less than 2 seconds from 100 to 0. Umesimama. Umesimama. And, and then the good part, ato ukisimama that fast, you're not wasting the energy. Very true. You're using it to recharge the battery pack. Mm-hmm. Na hii gari by the way ikona convenience features mingi. Ikona everything that you would get say in an Audi Q5. Very true. And it is faster than an Audi SQ5. Yeah. Ama nimedanganya. You have felt it. You have umesikia. Yes. The, the, car, the car is powerful. Iga, the instant talk you can feel it. And also I remember we have also seen the rejuvenation of the car. Oh, yes. Uh, this car has charged itself as you are coming here. Mm. True or not true? True, true. true. Simona it charged in a It was 68, it was 70. So if you learn how to use the one pedal mode, the yes. energy rejuvenation style of this car, yes. you are very good to go. You don't have range anxiety, Isha. To go to charging station, side, you are charging outside Nairobi, in Naivasha. Nakuru, to go charging station. Range anxiety, yako, in Isha. We are giving you 620 kilometers. LD. Uh, Actually, na am going to say to charge Neta. To charge Skyward. Skyward gari ya kibazu wa ijechajia. Ah, itaji kuguza guza cha jazote. Hii ya tii ya hapa. Na hii unachajia nyumbani, unamuka, una, unaenda reserve na unarudi. Kamsa. So guys, uh, this is the end of part one. But we are going to give you a second part of this road trip that we are doing in this Skyward and the Neta. And uh, sahi si tumaliza safari ya ntuna tulale. Sawa, so, sawa. Yeah, so guys, stay tuned for part two of this amazing EV series. Uh, I'm going to give review and say, Vitima! Electricity! <laughs> Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go.